So hello everybody, this week I developed some serious superpowers and because you click that play button, you are going to develop them too. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to get an image or multiple images. We are going to get all the text out of the images into a text file and then we're going to import the text file data into Power BI to get the data that we want out of those images. So cool, so cool and very easy to do. Let's get started. I can't wait. Okay, guys, so this is what we need. We need a place to store the files. I'm going to use OneDrive Business. That's the one I found that was best. Then we're going to use Flow to get the data out, you know, for, uh, to automatize the process of getting data, the text out of the PNG files. To actually get the text out, we're going to use Azure Computer Vision. So cool, <laughs> so cool. But don't worry, it's very easy to do. And then we're going to get you know, store the text into the text file, and then we're going to get Power BI to get everything out. It's so cool. So, what we need, first of all, we need to go to OneDrive, and we're going to create two folders. We're going to create one folder where we're going to put our PNG files, and then we're going to create another folder where we're going to put the text file. So obviously, you can put it in the same, I'd put it in two. So this is step number one. Now, step number two, we need to create the flow. We're going to go to new, automated, and then we're going to say when we create a file, when a file is added into OneDrive, and this is to our folder, the one that we just created, it was called PNG files. So when something gets dropped in there, our next step is going to be OCR. You search for OCR and then you'll see here uh, OCR to text. So image to text, that's the one that we want. Now here you will need to, I've already logged in, but you will need to have, let me show you. If you go to cognitive services here and then you go to Vision API, I'm going to put this link down below so you can access it. Here's the computer vision. You click Gate and API, and here, seven day trial, get started, and that is going to give you the endpoints and the keys that you need, okay? So it's going to ask you first for the name of your the service, and you can call it anything. You can call it like OCR to text, for example. Then it was going to ask you for the key, and you will get that. So I'm going to show you my, so you can see it. I will blur everything, but then you will get this key and then you can use any of these endpoints for your test. And then if you want to run it in production, you pay for it, right? So that's all it takes. You add that and then you will get this. And it says, okay, image source, this is going to be an image content. And it should show up, ah, there we have it, image content, and then in here, what we need to do is to convert the PNG file that, or the image file that we're going to put in there into binary. And to do that, we need to do like this, data URI, and then in there, we need to put the file content. So this basically what it does is it converts the PNG file to binary. And this service needs that basically to do it. And once we do that, we're going to create the file. And then we're going to put the folder path is our text, 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 text files. File name is going to be file name. This is going to create a text file. So text file, and then the file content is going to be the detected test text from the Azure service. Save. And what we are going to detect, what I did is I took my Northwind data set from Power BI, I just took some snapshots of it. You see, this is really through on beverages, dairy products. These are images. So we're going to convert those images 
into text using the flow that we just created, basically. So what we're going to do here is we have OneDrive, we have our PNG files, and we're going to put the images in there. So let's put first one, and then we'll put the other two. Here we have save tech test use data from OneDrive. created the file, so it tells me that something has been created. Let's see, if we go to our text files, oh, it's brilliant, it's just brilliant, it's just brilliant. And here we have the data, how cool is that? Okay, so now we're going to open Power BI and get the data in from those text files that get created. So as I showed you in a previous video, I'm going to link it down below. OneDrive for Business is SharePoint in disguise. So to get data from OneDrive, you just get data from SharePoint folder. I will link it down below so you see what you need to do, but this is basically it. Put it in there. Then we're going to change that to content. Content. And then we go to document and we go to text files, right? That was our there table text files. Perfect. And now we get here the text. What I'm going to do is the way I always import these kind of things. I do have a video on why and how down below. So make sure that you check it out. So you CSV dot document and then we put content in there. Okay, and now I'm going to keep custom and name. I will tell you why I keep name in just a second. And then we're going to remove all of the columns. It's not that we need a name, it's to be able to pivot back. Uh, and then I'm going to just open this. And this is going to give me just, you know, whatever got extracted from those files. Now, what I want to take out from this is category name and unit price. Just pick it something, okay? And what you see here is that we have category name and then above, and then there is unit price above. So this is what I'm going to do to take it out. We get a Power Query tutorial out of it. Awesome. If column one equals to cat, oi, equals to category name, then category name. Otherwise, we're going to do the same with unit price. Unit price, then column one, else no. And because we're going to get errors, I'm going to get rid of them already now. So everything else that is an error, just no, we don't want it. And now we have here category name and unit price. I'm going to now add an index column because we're going to get the above row. I've showed you before, link down below on how to get above rows or previous rows basically, but this is the one not previous, but uh, this is a previous row. Anyhow, so what we're going to do is like this. If custom is not null, that means if we are in the column that we want to be, then get and again check that video if you want to know exactly what i am doing because i explain it in detail basically uh, added index spell it right index and then we're going to get the column the row the row is going to be index minus one so wherever you are i want the row above minus one and then return column one so whatever is in the row above the one that you are on if it's not blank else no i don't think i need otherwise let's see 
So category name beverages, unit price, wonderful. Okay, so now we're going to get rid of all the nulls. That will give us the rows that we want. And then I can get rid of, well, instead of that, how about, oh, uh, this just, this one that I don't need. So I want to keep this one, this one, and in case something else shows up, remove all the columns. And now, as you can see, there is a slight error because here we don't want Germany, we just want the number. So what we're going to do there is, so let me show you. So we're going to split digit by no digit. No. We're going to split non-digit by digit. We're going to merge these two. Okay. And now we're going to do the last custom column, which is if merge is blank, then give me that one. Yeah, otherwise give me that one. And this is the one that we actually are going to use. And then can get rid of where is remove all the columns? No, okay, no, bad idea. Let's get there and then get rid of that you need, that you don't need, that you don't need. Okay, so there we have it. Now, the reason why I left the name of the file is because when we want to unpivot that, these two, you need to have a unique identifier for each file. Otherwise, you're going to get a pivot error. So what, when I have this, I can actually go in here and do a pivot value, don't aggregate. And there you have it, category name. Okay, now let's put some more files into our folder. Okay, so we're going to put two more files into our PNG files, and then we're going to go back to text files and wait a minute or so until you know SharePoint sends a message to Flow as like, Flow says hey I have to do something. It's quite fast actually but it might take a minute. So let's see nine minutes ago soon is going to react. Three seconds ago, four seconds ago yeah, it's so cool. It's, so, it's just wonderful. So now we go back to Power BI, and we're going to refresh these two. So now we are reading the rest of the file. How cool is this? Wonderful, right? And what, what took us? Okay, fifteen minutes, seventeen minutes. If you remove all my talks, fifteen minutes. I actually converted in the PNG to PDF and then got rid of the text files. If you want to show me, no, not of the text files, of the PNG files. So if you want me to show you how to do that, just let me know and I will be super happy to do it. So this is over today. I will see you again on Wednesday with another Power BI video. And until then, as always, take care and enjoy your new superpowers.